Holy smokes. Philippe, lighting it up. Three of spades on the turn. This is crazy, man. I missed this action. Philippe's been so tight. Check raises on the flop. Doyle Brunson needs to start a 10-hour podcast that he uploads every day. His old stories are so cool, and I bet he has thousands he hasn't gone public with yet, too. I imagine that's true, C. Jarber. Yeah. I've only read one book from Doyle, Super System. But I think he's got some other ones out there that probably have some stories in them. Raise to 30,000 from Michael. And uh, Philippe in the big blind is going to call. Speaking of origins of poker terms, did you know PLO used to be called Nugget Hold'em when it first came out? I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Was it play to the Golden Nugget? What was the, what was the story there? No, it must, pre, it must predate Vegas, Potlum in Omaha. What's the story there? Golden Nugget. Like, as in actual golden nuggets, there's got to be a story around that, right? Not the casino golden nugget. Yes, it was. Oh. Is is literally first played at the Golden Nugget. Ahead. That's interesting. He is, I think, just ahead. Gagliano takes it down. It go. We continue on. These guys are such nits. They're keeping it together, man. They are keeping it together, but got to remember, this is day 1A of a five-day tournament. Stacks are very deep. Some patience is important here, and this is not an easy table. You know, looking at the table right now, I think there's, you know, there's been a few maybe not optimal hands played of which everyone does that, right? But, like, n no one's a huge drooler. Like, we don't have anyone on this table that is, like, really great money. You know, like, oh, you sit down and you're just like, yes, here we go. You know, they, these are all very accomplished poker pros, at least to my perception here. I'd be surprised if any of them weren't. Um... So, yeah. It'll be curious to see what happens. I mean, it's a difficult table. The exact origin of the game is unknown, but Casino Executive... <laughs> Robert Turner first brought Omaha into a casino setting when he introduced the game to Bill Boyd, who offered it as a game at the Las Vegas Golden Nugget Casino, calling it Nugget Hold'em. Wow. Very interesting, man. I wonder how it got changed to Omaha, which is a city in Texas, by the way. I don't know if everyone knows that out there, if you're from Europe or whatever. Because it's not like a super well-known city in Texas either. But it's kind of clever when you think about it. Texas Hold'em and Omaha as a city within Texas is kind of it's legit. I like the name. Faraz Jaka with the king-queen here. Got a call in the cutoff. Ryan Reese in the big blind will call as well. We go three ways to the flop. Everyone's got a queen, dude. Let's get a queen on the flop. Omaha is a city in Nebraska as well. Oh, is it? There you go. Omaha was not created in Omaha. That's a surprise. See, I would, I'm surprised by that too. Faraz Jaka flopping the flush draw here. Uh, Alexandra flopping the top pair. Ryan Reese just getting shafted. Is Omaha in Nebraska? I always thought it was Omaha in Texas, man. My whole belief of what Omaha... It is in Nebraska, dude. Well, um, I hate that story now. It's useless. Nebraska's so far away from Texas, too. I thought there was Omaha in Texas. There is an Omaha in Texas. There is an Omaha in Texas. Thank God, dude. I was about to tilt my face off. If there was no Omaha, Texas, everything I believed was a lie. I was about to be so upset. There's a Dairy Queen. Omaha Donuts. Omaha Park. Methodist Church. First Baptist Church. Post Office. Texas Heritage National Bank. Yep, this sounds like America, man. This is the U.S. of A. <laughs> Rear of the steer. Diner. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. That, I mean, rear of the steer diner is too much of a meme, dude. Come on. Don't meme like this. Please. Alex checking once again. Trying to be the spot where he gets good. 
pretty big repair for value. Matt Staples related to you. Yes. Yes, he is. We are brothers, my friend. Spades miss. King on the end. Faraz Jaka hitting the top pair. Now, Alexandros, I don't think he can get away from the hands here. You know, with uh, with Queen Jack. Queen Jack of spades missed. Um, bet of 150,000 here in the pot. I think he pretty much got a call with Queen Jack. You lose to a Shack, You lose to... Uh, uh, King high flush draws, which of course we can see Faraz has, but let's see. Alexandra is a very good player, uh, very accomplished, and does fold. Sick fold. Wow, very good fold. Very impressive. I wouldn't have get a, gotten away there. It's pretty good. Wait, Matt Staples is your brother. Yeah, dude, we're literally brothers. Our last name is Staples. True. Okay, we've got uh, <laughs> we've got some uh, some stories coming in from Sea Driver. Strauss, 1982 WCP tournament victory is considered to be one of the greatest comebacks in poker history. At one point, Strauss had one chip remaining and came back to win. This victory is considered to be the origin of the poker saying, a chip in a chair, meaning that as long as a player has not been eliminated from the tournament, he or she still stands a chance. Modern lore indicates that this happened at the final table, but the 1983 book, The Biggest Game in Town, implies that this occurred on the first day of the tournament. Strauss is one of the three Hall of Famers to die while playing poker, along with Wild Bill Hickok and Tom Adbo. Thank you for the story. See, driver, I appreciate that, man. <laughs> Ace-Queen against Jax here, and, and Jelko is going to re-raise against Faraz. And uh, I, I would expect Faraz to play the pot here. Both of them sitting a little bit deeper now, which is interesting. Not enough trolls in the stream for my liking. See ya, Jameson. Sorry, Igloo Wi-Fi. Yeah, we don't have very many trolls here, man. We don't. We don't have very many trolls. But cheers. Thanks for hanging out. King nine eight. Not a great flop for Hopefully you're better than your brother Matt. He's trash. JV money. Imagine this checks through. Shut your mouth. You understand? Shut your mouth when you're talking about my brother. Okay, bro? Just shut your mouth in general. Don't be coming into my stream telling me my brother's trash, okay? I'll back my brother against you all day, every day to stomp you into the ground. All day. All day, man. Angelico's going to take it down. <laughs> <laughs> First time watching Evening All. Not a clue how to play poker. Hoping to pick up some tips. Cheers. Risky little biscuit. Welcome to the stream. If you have any uh, questions about the structure of the game or how it works or anything like that, feel free to ask. I'll do my best to help you out, man. <coughs> so welcome, welcome. Hello, Flow SFM. We are going to play some online cards later. Yeah, we're going to play some online tournaments. We have a home game in two hours. So we're going to be playing that if anyone wants to play. As Faraz picks up jacks. Another pocket jacks. And Angelico has nines. Ooh, here we go. So yeah, we'll play a bit later. But we're going to watch the rest of day when I... <laughs> All right. And Michael Gagliano and the big mine is going to call here. It's very cheap to call and see a flop. So even with a crappy hand like Queen 8, you can do it. King, King, three. King, King, three. Everyone misses. Froz and Angelco feel okay about their hands. They don't want to play a massive pot, but they feel okay. We've got sub hype coming in. Terribly Cheeky Becca drop of the sub. Can we get to love of the check for Terrible Cheeky Becca? My fiance's name is uh, Rebecca. Thank you very much for the sub. Welcome to the team. Hearts out in chat, you guys, for the new subscriber. The stream is good for going to sleep. Really enjoying. <laughs> I... I get that compliment sometimes, and I take it as a compliment. <laughs> I think. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, Dante's Dionysio. 
All right, so the Jacks and the Nines go to the turn. Faraz with the full house. Now Jacks full of kings. But unfortunately for Faraz, we can see Angelica has an underpair. So I wouldn't expect this to be a really big pot. I wouldn't expect it to be huge. Show us a pic of your fiance, JV Money, bro. You just called my brother trash, and now you're asking for a picture of my fiance. Uh, no, bro. No. Listen, man, you're going to need to show my family some more respect before you ask for photos of my fiance. You understand, bro? Okay? I'm just kidding. I don't actually hate you, JB Money. It's fine. You can go to my Instagram. There's some photos of her there. Can't lose this pot. Question how to get more chips in. Can I check cool? Love watching your streams and getting those gems of wisdom on how to play from Terrible Cheeky Becca. Thank you. Thank you. Sure to give him that with a check back. Okay, and eight of diamonds on the river. There we go. Does check it back for us. Table the full house. Full house wins. Angelica went for the bet on the turn. Did they? Pretty thin bet. Playing online today. We will after day one a coverage area. We will later. For us, Jaka on two million now. Legend of the game for us, Jaka. I remember. When I was first getting into poker, like very beginning, there used to be these videos on like uh, card player, uh, I think it was card player lifestyle or something like this, where they did day in the life of, of pros. Faraz Jaka was one of them. Like he was, uh, he was one of the very biggest names back in like 2008, 2007, 2009 when it came to poker. Um, so yeah, there was like a day in the life. I remember like checking out his apartment in Chicago back when you could play online poker in Chicago and stuff. It's cool, man. Like, he was a guy I'd, I definitely watched videos of and, and wanted to be like one day when I first started playing 10 years ago. And here he still is playing the 10K main event. Put some respect on Matt's name. Put some respect on it, bro. Exactly. Being dead serious, I want my haircut like you have in the picture below the stream. I don't know what's below the stream, man. But you just asked for a uh, comb over, no fade, just cut it high, two on the side with a line in. You got it. Toilet O, yeah. Toilet O online for us, Jaka. Definite fade. Don't fade it in though. Just cut it all the way up. I think, on the on the on the line side, which you can't see, but just like, cut it all the way up. Don't fade it in. Everyone likes to fade it in nowadays, but I like it clean. Especially in the UK, they love a fade in the UK. They love to fade it, but I, I don't. Hard part, yeah, that's it, JV Money. Hard part, you're right. Do you share your bankroll publicly like you, bro? I don't, Digital Guru. Just because uh, I just don't keep all my money online. You know, I keep some in the bank, some in the market, some in crypto, uh, you know, some in random payment processors. Like, it's kind of all over the place, and that's all bankroll. So it's just not really an accurate representation of what we're able to play or not able to play. Uh, Philippe going for a Can Philippe find check raise here. Holy turn. smokes. Well, there Philippe it as good as it gets. lighting it up. Three of spades on the turn. This is crazy, man. I miss this action. Philippe's been so tight. Check raises on the flop. Angelka with top pair picks up a flush on the turn, loving his life. This is the absolute dream. And Philippe now, I mean, you can't shut down now, man. You pick up a gutter. You have king high spades. Is he gonna check all? He's gonna get a free card too. That's the sick thing. He's gonna get a free card, I think. Oh my god. Angelica surely just checks this one back with the flush on top pair. Doesn't want to bet and face a raise again. All right, queen ten wins. And now what does Philippe do? That's the thing, right? 
Raise this preflop with a hand that's pretty frisky, but I think actually find a raise. Check raise on the flop. I see what he's going for. Three in spades in the turn. The shutdown on the turn is interesting. But now, do you go for the bet? Three streets. We got a couple long blinks in here. What do the long blinks mean? Three hundred twenty-five thousand. That's a big bet, man. That is a big old bet. But this isn't making a lot of sense. Kings and aces beat Angelco, and kings and aces can go for check raises. So that's fair. But that's really all that Philippe is saying. I don't think ace queen would check raise flop, then check the turn, and then over bet the river. Be very surprised. So representing like 12 combinations of over pairs here. Just lead the flop rather than check raise. Kind of hands that lead my check raise do include hands like this. Six X with a backdoor flush draw. And a lot of those would fire the turn. Yeah, he can't figure it out because it's really not representing very many ahead. hands. So he goes for the call, and he is correct. Sometimes when a line doesn't make sense, you just have to call. Yep, that's it. That's it. Yo, Mariano, a CC, a drop of the follow. Welcome. CC. We had the follower alert on, so everyone try it. Tell me if it works. Please follow the stream, please. <laughs> please, man. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like yours is faded in the pick. That's what I'm going for from JV Money. Yeah, I don't know. Let me see. Uh, from yeah, that was Germany actually. That was a German haircut, I think. I think I got that one in Germany. They cut that. They cut the line in on that one, but it does look a little faded on that. Yeah, I would agree. I like it better. I like. I don't actually like that cut below the stream. The State Kings one. I mean, it's okay. Like, it looks good, but I, I choose a different style now. I like the part wide instead of cut in. I like it wide. Uh, and I like it uh, like a hard hard comb over and not, not faded like that. But, uh, you know, it looks good, too. It's okay. Yeah. It's all good, JV Money. It's all good, man. Don't ever trash talk my brother again. Ever. But we can talk air sometimes. That's cool. <laughs> I don't know if I can talk air today. That is some... Uh, that's some bed head, man. That's some bed head right there. It was a kappa! I didn't see the kappa, man. Didn't see it. Anyone know if you could change the sound on Party Booker for a MacBook? I don't think you can. I really wish you could, Ben. The sound is bad. I've passed that feedback along a couple times, and I'm hoping it changes because the sound is rough, 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 rough. It's too, it's too bright, man. It's like pow, pingy, cuts through the air. I don't like it. It's too much. I agree with you, dude. Igly Wi-Fi, if you ever recommend people to leave my chat to another chat again, I'm going to forever disregard whatever you talk to me about. Okay, Igly Wi-Fi? So watch your damn mouth, bro. Okay, man? I've had enough. Don't tell people in my house to leave my house to go to your house for a party. I've had enough. Shame him, chat. Shame Igly Wi-Fi. Terrible. Terrible. Terrible etiquette. That's it. You already ignore me. Well, maybe if you didn't ask people to leave, 
I'd talk to you, Igly Wi-Fi. Adrius takes it down. Plus, we're in a poker stream, man. How many people want to go watch CSGO with you, Igloo Wi-Fi? How many? About 0.3 of a people want to do that, okay? People are here to stay. We're having a good time, Wi-Fi. 0.3 people want to go. Someone will lend you a left leg. That's it. Just hang out here, Igloo. All right, you can be our friend. You can you can become part of our community, Igloo Wi-Fi. We can be good friends, man. We can hang out all the time. You can, we can. It's free. I'll be your friend. What do you want from me, man? These are a couple boring hands. What's your biggest win to date, Digital Guru? Around 36K USD. Uh, in the 2100, was it PowerFest main event, I think? Can we have a prop bet about me not playing a hand of cards for a year? Well, I think I am going to lose because I think you'd do it. And I get no entertainment out of it. <laughs> when the yes. I get nothing from this. Only you get something. <laughs> Check from Philippe Carlos with the ace eight here on the button. Probably gonna bet with the ace eight. I would bet here. Um I mean it's fine to check some aces, but I don't think ace eight offsuit is a great one, especially when there's a flusher out there. And Philippe doesn't really have any choices here with 6-5. It's just a fault. You still keep in touch with Kmart at all? Um, not too much, man. I mean, he's doing his thing in Vancouver. We are nine hours apart, Rocky TRH, in time zone. And, like, he's not streaming or playing poker, you know. And I'm very much on the grind, so we, you know, we're in different spots of our life right now. But... You know, he'll always be a friend. How much money would you need, Jamie, to stop playing poker and streaming for a year? Too much, dude. Too much. I don't want to be arrogant <laughs> publicly. Internally, I'm being extremely arrogant. It's a very big number. <laughs> but I'm not going to say it out loud. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I really do love you, Mr. Staples. I'm going to head out. Enjoy the stream, peeps. All right, man. You have a great time. Watching the pew pew pow pow. And uh, we'll see you some other time. Jamie, what do you think is the next step in coaching after Raise Your Edge MTT course? I'm only asking about MTT next level, not cash or something else. Well, the bounty course, Raise Your Edge. So if you play tournaments, you probably play a lot of bounties. The bounty course is really good. So that that's a reasonable upgrade from uh, the MTT masterclass. But then, you know, you can get private coaching from one of the elite players in the game at like 500 or 1,000 an hour. Um, but that's kind of it. Other than that, it's just like your own work, really. Sheffield will win against West Ham today. Bet at least 10K on it. I'm not betting on football, man. I don't know enough about football. Six, seven, eight. Alexandro's flopping a pair of sevens. And for us, Jaka with the ace king on the dealer button. This is not a very fun spot for ace king, though. And it checks around five on the turn. 
meaning a four makes a straight here, actually. Angelco has the best hand with the queen four. A nine also makes a straight, but no one has a nine. Angelco thinking about whether he wants to bet or not, and he is going to bet. I mean, probably just a fold fold here. What's up, Aiden R7? How's it going, man? Angelco takes it down. Takes it down with the straight. We move on. So this is day 1A of the uh, Caribbean Poker Party main event. This happened in November. It's a Party Poker Live event. $10,000 buy-in. There is, I believe, five days of coverage, and we're going to be streaming all of them. Not back-to-back -back or anything, but we are going to cover all of them. So pretty excited about that. Let me see if I can find out exactly... This is actually one of the shorter days of coverage. Uh, six hours of coverage today on this. But uh, yeah, it should be a really fun tournament. I'm looking forward to like actually properly sweating a whole tournament from start to finish because I don't think I've done that since like World Series of Poker main event like 2009. Something like that when Duhamel won. Like that was the last time I probably watched every bit of footage from a tournament. Alex, gonna so again this I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be fun. A nice experience. Yeah, so there's day 1A, day 1B, day 2, day 3 in the final table. We're going to stream it all. Should be fun, man. Alexander raises Orion Reese in the big blind. He's going to call with the 6 5. Swole Lama, I almost banned you, bro. I almost, I was so close. My mouse was literally moving. You can, can you see the look in my eyes? I was literally, man, I was ready to just rip you out of the stream, bro. Kappa. <laughs> uh, Jack 10 5. Ryan Reese flops the best hands. Really tough to win with this hand, though. Alexandros with the Ace King. Two overcards. Backdoor flush draw. But can also be so aggressive here. And Ryan Reese really struggles to get the showdown. And he is just going to fold the pair. There it is. I mean, just folds to the bet. Has made some very tight folds to Alexandros. Very tight. You may You remember. Earlier on, he folded the 10s on like a jack high board or something in a three-bet pot. Just to a C-bet. What would you be if you weren't playing poker from Rios 09 TV? I really don't know. It's a good question, man. I'm not sure because poker has been like, from a career perspective, my exclusive interest for the last 10 years. So I haven't developed anything else. But like at other periods of my life, I've really loved golf. I wanted to be a golf pro as a kid, so I could always get back into that if I wanted to. Um, I could get into academia. I could get into content creation as well. Like I stream, I have a YouTube channel. Like I could just make videos or streams about something completely different. You know, I could play games like the rest of Twitch and see if I could make it as a game streamer. Or I could do more IRL streaming, you know? Or I could do like full-time podcasting. I don't know, like, I'm not sure, man. I really don't know. But it's not in the plans. <laughs> like I'm very happy doing what I'm doing, so... Um, I would do something. If poker just ended tomorrow, I'd definitely take a little bit of time and like really consider what I want to do next because it's just not something I've really just not in that spot yet, you know. And Jelko with the pocket jacks here in a two million stack, so very deep here, uh, is going to squeeze it up to one hundred twenty-five thousand. What's your handicap? It was scratch in high school, JB Golf. Um, I was like a bad scratch, though. I shot like 73 every day. You know, like I couldn't go low. My lowest ever score in my life was 68 or 69, I think. Uh, but I think I broke par twice in my life and shot even par like maybe three or four times. That's it. So, uh, yeah, I was just like a very consistent shoot one or two over par. But that was, you know, at this point, like 11 or 12 years ago. And I've played maybe 10 rounds of golf since. So I'm a long way removed from that. But the principle still 
exist, you know. As the squeeze gets through with the jacks, nice hand for Angelica. You know, like the process to improve and get better is good, but I, I'm i not naive enough to think that I could ascend from where I currently am in physical condition to being a PGA Tour golfer. That would not be possible, but I think there's a lot of opportunities in golf in general, actually, because golf as an industry has so much money, like so much corporate interest in sponsorship and partnerships in golf because of its like crystal crystal clear pristine reputation it's just like all of the, the corporate money in the u.s is interested in like golf you know it's just there's heaps and heaps and heaps and heaps of dollars so there's heaps of opportunity for content creators to be successful in golf because of all that money that's available and then also the demographic that's playing golf is less exposed to online media like YouTube, like uh, Twitter, Instagram. Like it's just not as, no, you see it, of course. Like I'm seeing TikTok memes from golfers all the time. I'm not saying it doesn't exist, but like it's underexploited compared to how big the game is worldwide. And I, to my knowledge, there is no consistent golf streamer on Twitch. It's a huge gap in the market, man. If you created a lit golf stream, you'd crush. People would love it but you have to do it really well. Um, no one's done it. I'm not gonna do it. I, I got poker on the go, but like, there's serious opportunity there to make like massive bank if you want to, doing something you love. My golf score is the same as my bowling score. Legit, man. Philippe with the pair of sevens here, middle pair, is going to go for a bet, which is, I guess, a little bit surprising with second pair. You generally want to keep the pot kind of small, and Michael in the big blind is going to hit this board a lot. Has the backdoor diamonds, has three to a straight. You can't fold here, Michael. No! No! Gagliano goes for the fold. That's a tight fold. Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> man.